Well, hello there, folks, and welcome to the Bubba Roundtree Outdoors channel. I am your host, Wade Rush. Hang on a second. Let me see if I can back y'all up a little bit. Hey, hey, that's a little bit better, ain't it? Today, Rachel and I are down here at the range. We're talking about some extended range, heavy hitting, 20 gauge buckshot. That's right. Rachel and I have been working hard on this. We had done a whole production for you guys, and then I spoke at length with Grant Fackler over at Ballistic Products and the mainly the wide that we were using in our extended range 20 gauge they didn't know when they were going to get it back in stock but they are stocking the tps 20 and the csd wads seem to be coming in stock pretty good i had some of the tps 20 so we put some together and holy cow do they perform boys y'all stand by Well, folks, I hear a lot, I hear from a bunch of different loaders that are really interested in um, big game buckshot in an extended range load out of a 20 gauge. I have, Rachel and I had already shot a lot for you guys. Then I spoke with Grant at Ballistic Products and come to find out the, a lot of the components, especially the wads that I was using, were not available and did not know when they were going to be available. But the TPS 20 wads seem to be available some of the csd seem to be available i did not have any of the csd but i do have some of the tps 20 so that's what we're going to put together for y'all today we've got a brand new primed shadite a hole from ballistic products 17 and a half grains a long shot a thin 20 gauge gas seal under a tps 20 two and three quarter inch which is custom cut we didn't have to cut the length that's why i got a two and three quarter inch wide i would not have to cut worry about the lengths when we're even when we're using them in a three inch round so uh and we got 24 pellets of number four bam the high antimony buckshot from ballistic products here all covered in bp original buffer a nice standard crimp that I was able to finish with the Gipe finisher. Thank you, Grant, for uh, for holding that out for me. That really helps a lot. That is shot number one. All righty, folks. We've got the Stoger M3020. Uh, absolutely no modifications. This is a basically a stock gun. Same with the little. Um, 1187 youth that we have here with the 20 inch barrel the uh, stoker has a 28 inch barrel and we've actually got the goblin thunder turkey choke in here with a 560 constriction since we're trying to get as tight uh, patterns as we can instead of the buck kicker today the buck kicker is 565 this is just 560 it's just a hair tighter so we're going to give a few rounds a try out of the goblin thunder here at 45 yards and see how these extended range loads pattern out of there. Twenty-four pellets, a number four bam. Eleven ninety-seven. You could shoot those all day long. Dang, that's some good coverage, ain't it, folks? Wow. 24, full-grown 24 caliber uh, number four buck. The Right up the center of the paper is completely covered. You could have been a little off up or, and up or down on your aim, and you'd have sure got plenty of number four buck in him. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I got 23, barring any double hits. Still, look at that. I forgot to bring my measuring tape, but this that's irrelevant. That's out of the turkey choke. That's out of the goblin thunder. 
All right. That's a great one to start. Let's move on. Fellas, shot number two is a two and three quarter inch 20 gauge. This was a new Fiocchi that uh, we've already fired once and we've already decapped. Went back with a Fiocchi 616 primer. We got 21 of blue dot. I'm sorry, we've got 16 pellets of number 25 caliber, number three buck. Got a thin 20 gauge uh, seal under a PT2092 custom cut. Wide, see what I'm saying? We don't know when the PT2092s are going to get back in stock. But anyway, this is the only one I had loaded with some number three, so we're going to go ahead and shoot it for y'all out of the little uh, 20 gauge youth. I'm going to get Rachel to shoot this one. Y'all stand by. Rachel's going to shoot the little 1187 youth. It's got a uh, standard full buck kicker in it and just a 20 inch barrel. But it was, uh, when we were doing the preliminary testing with it, it was a heck of a performer. Yep, right there on the bottom, honey. That's it. There you go. Sixteen pellets of full-grown number three buck, twenty-five caliber. Very good. That's okay. Ten. We run it. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Rachel says we got ten or sixteen. It looks like it went uh, that most of it went high, but you know, that's uh, that happens sometimes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right here in a 15 inch circle with two of them down here, and that's 25 caliber number three. That's out of that little two and three quarter inch. Rachel said that was like shooting a 22. You could quite literally shoot those all day long. All right, let's see what else we got in the bag. All righty, folks, this is a once fired heavy shot, a duck load uh, hole that we got here, which is basically a shadite. We went back with a Shadite primer, 22 grains of blue dot, the thin 20 gauge gas seal under the uh, four cut, four pedal cut TPS 20 gauge, two and three quarter inch TPS 20 gauge. We, this is a 26 caliber number three and a half. Boy, this was a great performer here. And uh, let's see what we got. We got 21, we got 21 pellets of the three and a half 26 caliber just polished covered and ballistic products original standard crimp alrighty folks I'm gonna continue to shoot the little little black gun a little 1187 it did really well with this 26 cal alrighty folks here we go Eleven fifty nine. My gosh, it threw it over yeah, there. It kicked that one <laughs> thirty foot over there. Yep. What? Look at look at what a pattern there. Put one in the bull and drew a circle around it. That's a twenty one inch barrel. It's at forty five yards, and uh, and it continues to perform like it did in the earlier videos that we did using the PT-2092 uh, custom cut wads. Now these are the TPS-20. They usually have these in stock and if they don't, they get them back pretty quick. So that's why we're having to redo this whole production for y'all. All right, Rachel says we got 20. Yes, sir. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 and once again as always Rachel is right on it <laughs> all righty folks let's go shoot another one and for all you good folks that have to roll crimp brand new should I primed hole from ballistic products 18 a long shot the 20 gauge thin seal under a TPS 20 wide the two and three quarter inch TPS 20 wide and we've got 16 pellets of number two buck, full grown, 27 cal, powder coated, hard cast mine, number two buck. 16 pellets, and this is covered in precision spherical buffer. I like to use it sometimes. It works great. 
but you got to be more mindful of your powder charges too. Not so much in the 20 gauge, but really in the 12 gauge. Creates more back pressure. It's heavier than the uh, ballistic products buffer. Anyway, that's what we got here. We're going to get Rachel to shoot the uh, full grown 20 gauge here with the uh, still got the Goblin Thunder um, 6, I mean, I'm sorry, 5 at 6 0 constriction Goblin Thunder turkey choke in here that we're shooting the buckshot, this extended range stuff. Nice sights on that one, ain't it, honey? <laughs> Full grown. Number two buckshot. What's the velocity? 1266. 1266. How about that one, fellas? That's uh, that's why I got Rachel to shoot the Stoger. I didn't know how, I honestly didn't know how the Goblin Thunder was going to do with the uh, 560 constriction turkey choke in it, as compared to the 565 Buck Kicker standard full. Um, but it looks like, it actually looks to me like it tightened it up a little bit. With, uh, I imagine all 21, or uh, this is uh, 16 pellets. All 16 pellets, I imagine, are here. Full it grown is. number two buck now. There's 16 there. We've got, and here in an 11 inch circle, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 27 caliber hard cast, powder coated number two buck dead center of the paper right there. Deer or hog, wouldn't matter. That one's done. And at 1230 something foot per second, was it, honey? Over, 12, to, over 6, 1200 12, 6, foot per second 6. with the precision buffer. Um, with, the, uh, with the ballistic products buffer with 18 a long shot in that same load, we get about 1190 or around just under 1200 foot per second. With the precision buffer, we're getting a little over 1200 foot per second. Performance is outstanding with both of them. Depends on what you can get. Okay, folks, just for, um, just for a matter of curiosity and comparison, here is basically the same load we just shot. 16 pellets of uh, number two buck powder coated hard cast. This is a once fired heavy shot hull, shittite basically, shittite primer reinstalled. Only we got 22 of blue dot in here under a 20 gauge thin seal with the custom cut four pedal TPS 20 and uh, we've got a uh, okay trying to see what was different and we also got original buffer in here the B ballistic products original buffer instead of precision buffer in this load and see it's conventionally crimped but the same 16 pellets same wide that we had in the previous shot Let's see what happens this time. We'll see what difference that the powder and the buffer makes in the same load and the crimp. Uh, 13.19. 13.19. Once again, absolutely awesome performance. You can see how with the same load we can get good performance with a different powder and using different buffer and a different crimp. Okay. What 16. Got? got all 16 right here. <laughs> all 16 in a 19 inch circle by maybe 19 inch. 19 inch circle, all 16 pellets at 45 yards out of a 20 gauge. Full grown number two buck. Now it's pretty much a grab bag. We got a lot of good performers here. I'm going to go look and see what I got in the bag and hopefully it'll be something that you can find uh, out there and uh and we'll go from there i may have another two and three quarter inch or so in there if i do we'll pull that out and shoot it out of a little black gun y'all stand by 
Folks, something interesting I forgot to mention on those last two shots. The, uh, the roll crimped load that Rachel shot, we got 18 a long shot, thin 20 gauge, seal under a TPS 20 that had four pedals, that we cut four pedals, 16 pellets of full grown 27 caliber, number two buck, and precision spherical buffer, roll crimped. This had a full cut wide. It was cut all the way to the hinges in this load. Now, the one we just fired, this one here, the second one that we just patterned, had a half cut. I had only half cut the wide. Let me see. I think I might have found it. Here it is. See there? I had only half cut the wide on the second shot. The first shot was, let me see if I was a full cut. See the difference? Big difference, ain't it? Second shot we just fired, first shot we fired. How about that? Interesting, ain't it? I think the full cut wide outperformed the half cut. I really do. Okay, we got a two and three quarter inch once fired. This was a Fiocchi. We've got a Shadite primer. We went back. We got 21, a blue dot, the thin 20 gauge gas seal under a TPS 20. This one is a full cut. And we've got 21 pellets of the number four BAM, the high antimony buckshot from Ballistic Products. And it was holes in such good shape we could roll crimp it a second time. How about that? 21 pellets covered in Ballistic Products Original Buffer. We're going to shoot this one. Let, let Rachel shoot it out the little black gun. 20 inch barrel with the standard full buck kicker choke. And like she said, it's like shooting a 22 rifle. You can shoot them all day long. Good. Through that hole, 20 feet again. 1142. 1142. Awesome, uh, awesome velocities, all of them. Now, fellas, that one didn't perform well out of a little black gun. It surely didn't. I got another three inch with the Bam Buckshot. We'll shoot it out of the Stoger, and because uh, it performed great on the first shot. What we on what? Everything kind of wadded up here to the high end of the lift, didn't and it, Rachel? There was one at the bottom. And got one at the bottom. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of 21, and it kind of scattered it. Not every load is going to hit it out of the park, guys. It's not. And Rachel and I, we don't come down here, and uh, we don't really have time to come and test everything and come down here and just show you the good stuff. You're watching a lot of the stuff. Some stuff is tried and true. Some stuff we're trying for the first time. And you're seeing it as it happens, and we bring it all to you. We don't just cut out the bad stuff and show you the good stuff. We show you everything and how it, how it works out. That how different loads can perform different out of different guns and different chokes. Just a few different variables can make big differences in how a shotgun performs, especially with buckshot. All right, I got a three-inch BAM. Let's try it out of that Stoger and, uh, and see how it works out. All right, folks, last two shots. Um, I was telling you about we got a, we had a three-inch here with um, that we've got a once-fired Shadite hole here. It was a heavy shot, duck load. Went back with a Shadite primer. 17 and a half of a long shot to thin TPS seal the thin PT-20 uh, seal, red seal from Ballistic Products, TPS-20, wide, custom cut, full cut, see, right here, and we got 24 pellets of the number four BAM buckshot covered in Ballistic Products original and a conventional crimp. Shot number two, we're gonna wrap it up and show you this 26 caliber, this number three and a half, I got Marty, to specially make this mold for me a while back because I was suspicious that it would really work well out of an extended range 20 gauge. And it has, it has surely surpassed all of my expectations. We got a brand new Shadite primed here, 17, a long shot, the thin PT-20 seal, TPS-20, um, 
wide over the top and we've got 20 pellets of 30 of 26 caliber number three and a half polished precision spherical buffer and a beautiful roll crimp we'll do that for the last shot first we're going to shoot the uh the number four buck stand by Twelve seventeen. All velocities have been excellent. I count. I think I get twenty three. Fellas, that twenty four pellet bam, twenty gauge extended load. That is a keeper, and that's not the Goblin Thunder, the Turkey Choke. It's a little bit tighter. Everything was about tighter, con more uh, tighter constriction here at 45 yards out of a 20 gauge. And uh, the BAM buckshot has done well out of the full length wise. I tell you what, it just, it, it works great. And it is super hard stuff. Be great for deer and hogs. Be outstanding for coyotes too, wouldn't it fellas? Out there in Arizona, New Mexico, Texas. Right down here in the south, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana. That's a great varmint load right there too. And it's not tearing your face off, is it Rachel? <laughs> no, yeah, that's that's the thing about it. You can shoot these things all day long. And look at the velocities we're getting. 1,200, 1,300, 1,150. Uh, all this be just as good or better than a three and a half inch. And with patterns like that, why would you be shooting a three and a half inch when you could shoot that 20 gauge all day long and go home and not have your face all bruised up and your teeth loose? Rachel says, how many did you count, baby? 23. 23 she counted, but what I'm looking at right here in the center of this paper in a 16 inch circle here, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 24 caliber, number four buck right here in the center of the paper in a 15 inch circle. That's plenty enough to take care of anything that it needed to take care of. All right, let's go shoot that last, uh, that 26 caliber, number three and a half out of the uh, Stoker, and uh, since we shot it at the little black gun the first time, and uh, let's wrap it up with that one. All right, fellas, just to recap right quick, if you didn't watch uh, before we started these last two shots, this is a uh, brand new uh, three inch Shadite primed hole from Ballistic Products, 17 a long shot, the thin PT20 gauge seal, the TPS20 with a full cut, four pedals, and this has 20 pellets of the number three and a half, 26 caliber that I got Marty to make. I think he's got them in stock. He just started stocking this size because they work so well out of a 20 gauge. They work pretty dang good out of a 12 gauge too. We'll talk about that in another episode. All righty, here we go. Eight fifty-five. That's not right. That's the first time I've had a uh, bad reading all day long. Actually, that is a hole looks good, don't it? Mm -hmm. yeah, it looks excellent. Can definitely be loaded again. All righty. Now, the little Stoker didn't wide those things like that little black gun did. But look at what a look at what a pattern. This is 26 caliber. 26 caliber. That's just under a number two buck. Between a number three and a number two buck. It's not powder coated. Nothing. It's just polished. What a pattern! Holy cow! There was 20 pellets in that load. One, two, three, four, five. One in the bull, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I see where one nicked the side at the right over there. 19, yep. Yeah. The other one, <clears> there, <throat> there I see other fresh holes over there. It may have went off the paper just to that side. But right here, dead center of the paper in a 15-inch circle, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
10.26 caliber right there with plenty to make up for any error you might have made when you're shooting at, your, uh, at a wild boar or a coyote or a deer or whatever you may be after. Alrighty, folks. I sure hope y'all enjoyed it. Rachel and I sure enjoyed bringing it to you. We'll see y'all on the next one. Bye-bye. Well, folks, hope y'all enjoyed the 20-gauge extended range. Hey, we can't forget Rachel. She is my right-hand man. Whoa, man. Uh, whenever we're doing this stuff, I just couldn't do it without her. So, uh, those are some outstanding performers, ain't they, guys? That will win the contest right there. That will definitely get it done if you just don't want to be shooting something that's going to be tearing your head off and loosening your teeth, having to go to the dentist after a weekend of deer hunting or chasing wild hogs and stuff like that. Not when you can get it done with the 20 gauge. Hope y'all enjoyed it, folks. We'll see y'all on the next one. Bye-bye.